Twitter suspending the accounts of several journalists who cover both the social media platform and, of course, its owner, Elon Musk. Those affected include reporters from The Washington Post, The New York Times, and CNN. The move's coming after Twitter suspended an account that had been using public flight data to share the location of Mr. Musk's private plane. Last night, Musk tweeted, Criticizing me all day long is totally fine, but doxing my real-time location and endangering my family is not. Same doxing rules apply to journalists as to everyone else. Seven-day suspension for doxing. Some time away from Twitter is good for the soul. I've been doxing the hell out of people. This first guy I never heard anybody complain about. Yeah, it's, um, listen, he owns the platform. He can do whatever he wants. Yeah. He claims to be a free speech absolutist. And when he took over as owner a number of months ago at this point, not even, but don't uh, he you said think that he really... would open it up. Uh, and yet there does seem to be some hypocrisy here. Well, but, you know, you buy it, okay? You're losing fortunes. You're bleeding through your eyeballs. Every day you get them, it looks like, you know, people are asking to put more money up. Do you at least not get the satisfaction of saying, I hate those five journalists, I'm kicking them off? Can you at least give them something here? I mean, give <laughs> them can, something. You can do anything you want. For $44 billion, you know what I get to do? I get to slam a couple of journalists. Can do it's the only thing that's and been he, good. He clearly has a need to be in the public eye he lo- in a way that he is not helpful, eye. it would seem, to his business. Certainly, I don't know if you heard eye. our interview with Gary Black yesterday. I loved it. I um, it was a must, must it, Yeah, uh, from the uh, Future Fund. Take a listen to Gary Black, uh, you know, a uh, holder, obviously, of Tesla shares, who is just praying that Musk will stop talking. I think he's going to realize the mistakes he's made because I've, I've seen him change even with advertisers. He's, he's changed his whole approach to him. I think he's going to realize he's made a mistake with his, his rhetoric and everything, and he'll stop. But I think the bigger issue, which will make me and other shareholders feel better, is he gets out of Twitter, lets somebody that he trusts, works 24-7, his same vision, take over Twitter so he can go back and, and focus on Tesla. So many of our conversations about Twitter, of course, bleed into Tesla. We've made the connection many times between Mr. Musk's attention on Twitter, his endless tweeting, his um, his attacking certain people who might be t- Tesla buyers right. and the well, decline also- in Tesla stock, which, by the way, yesterday uh, was actually better than the market. It, it performed far better than the mar- broader market. Well, I think market. There were the, the apologists coming on saying, listen, it doesn't matter. I mean, he's really paying attention and you, know, you want him there, of which I do too. But David, in the end, what we're discovering about a lot of the internet is it's very advertising connected. And the people who are involved in advertising have been cutting back at a lot of places and really cutting back at Twitter because they don't like to be associated with fractious and unruly people. Yes. Uh, but they, but Twitter previously had a very good sales force that I met with many times, and they often convinced me, look, this is the place to go. You could be against live sports. You could be against some, a lot of good people watching us, the Super Bowl. Um, and, and now I think you have to say to yourself, wow, maybe it's too nasty. It's getting nastier. You think other me. journalists will follow his lead? I, I'm sorry. Will, in sympathy, say, you know what, I'm done, too, oh, if you're going to be journal. suspending other yes. journalists? Yes, I or, think that, But in the end, they crave it, too. It's, it's a very useful tool. I, I, I look at I mean, I, you look, use I don't, it all the time. I don't think Elon Musk is doing a bad job. I feel like that he overpaid for it, and I think he's trying to figure out what to do. I, he just doesn't have the staff. He needs to go back to Tesla and have others run it. Run it. Uh, like Gary Black said he wants him to. Right, that would be, I thought, that's why I thought the interview was so great.